Buenas noches comunidad, Dragon Hard, eh, lo prometido es deuda, logré la entrevista con Kevin Mitnick, volteé a la cámara, es en serio, no Hola. es mamando gallo. Hola amigos y amigas. <risa> ok. <risa> ok, eh, vamos, hicimos una convocatoria en el foro para ver qué le preguntarían ustedes a Kevin Mitnick y Kevin muy amablemente. Eh, me, me concedió aquí la entrada a un lugar, un recinto totalmente solitario, donde estamos él y yo y mi amigo Samurai haciendo la entrevista. So, Kevin. Yes. Uh, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, fine. So, here I, I, I'm going to ask you the six, five, six questions. Okay. That's it. Okay. So, the first question I think is a uh, real. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, Okay, just ask it, just ask yeah. it, it's okay. What kind of relationship did you have with, Su with Sutomu Shimomure? Nothing. I mean, Nothing. he was the guy that helped the government uh, uh. track me down, but uh, you never hear about him anymore. Yeah? No. Uh, but he couldn't do it alone. What it had to do is he was helping the FBI because the FBI could get access to information by subpoena from the f phone companies and stuff like that. Shimomura couldn't do it. So it was only by the FBI working with him that he was able to track me down. Not by himself, because he wasn't, he wasn't privileged to get the information, because you need to be law enforcement. Yeah. So, uh, what did you do after you get out of jail? Yeah. To what did I do? Okay, what did you do, what did you do for get update, okay, to, to up, upgrade so fast? Ah, to when I was new technology. Old. Well, there was, a, there was a big movement, the Free Kevin movement. Free Kevin, they had all these Free Kevin bumper yeah, stickers, yeah, yeah. and a lot of people sent me books when I was in jail. So I read JavaScript, I read Java, I read HTML, but it's still not the same as being having a computer, you know this. So um, when I got out, I was under, for three years, I wasn't allowed to use technology, but after two years, yeah, after two years, they let me get a computer secretly. So I just was spending hours and hours and hours catching up with stuff. But I still have much to learn. Yeah, yeah I still have much to learn yeah, because, because yeah. I, I, I have to work and then I, I spend a lot of time on my computer, as my girlfriend there. I mean, all the time. And I'm sitting there just learning and learning and learning and working and working and working. We made an interview to her. Oh, you did yeah. already? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you told them I'm on the computer all the time? Yeah, I know. I every time, all the time, every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think the than a hacker it has to, to, to have to be a really great hacker. Or passion. Well. Yeah. Passion, fascination with the technology, the ability to work with, uh, not understand the language, language is no big deal, but to kind of have a sense of how everything works and how to solve problems, how to get around obstacles, be creative and innovative. I think it's a, uh, I, I think, I think people, uh, some people just have a, gift to be able to work with computers just like you have actors and actresses that are born with the ability to act when they they didn't go to drama school just naturally born actors so i think i'm like one of the naturally born hackers <laughs> because of my passion yeah so your passion is the hacking that's it all the time do you do, do you are well, it's you not work hacking? it's like but, i work but well now i get paid to do it but before i was doing it illegally i was spending all my time doing, I was not going to school, I was too busy hacking when okay. I was a kid. My best friend asked me that question. Uh, uh, do you think that if you have the passion for the hacking, it's, it's good to spend all the time, all of your life to that? No, you should be well-rounded. You should, uh, I mean, the right thing to do is be well-rounded, but like with me, I'm, I, I get focused on my work. Uh -huh. and I spend, and I don't feel good unless I can uh, have the satisfaction that I finish something. Hold your earth. Okay. Uh, what did uh, okay? What do you think about the? Oh no, this is a question that you asked. The new answer there. Okay. Uh, and what uh, after you go out of the jail? Did you uh, form the, the the company, your company, or after? You no, after like in 2004. You I had a jail. company called Defensive Thinking, kind of like uh, trying to teach people how to think intelligently so they wouldn't be subject to social engineering. But then I kept getting calls because they thought it was a driving school. Defensive thinking, like defensive driving, so I changed the name to my name. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Another question. Uh, 
has any any time that you get that you try to to make a a, 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 a social engineering attack and they attack to you? No. No. Never in your service. No. People have tried to social engineer me, but uh, but I picked up on it all the time because yeah. I'm so paranoid. <laughs> okay. And the last question is: uh, We are community on internet. Yes. Okay, that's it. Uh, Dragon Jared. Dragon Jared. Okay. Oh, yeah. And, and Colombia. It's, it's called. Okay. Uh, it's Colombia, but uh, Latin America. Of all people, about uh, they are interesting. Uh, they are interesting on ha of hacking. They are <clears throat> busy visit that web. So the communities on internet uh, are growing up so fast. So. What do you think about them? Uh, the, the, is there the, 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 the knowledge of the future of the knowledge, or what do you think about it? Mm, yeah, I guess the future of the knowledge would be a big, uh, a big factor. Um, the collective knowledge. Yeah, the collective. Yeah, the collective knowledge. The uh, the ability to basically have a team of a brain trust. Yeah. I guess the brain trust is the attractive thing. Because now you're dealing with, you have all these intelligent minds and you're putting it together to form a, a consortium, in a your community. Time, in your time, there is not that possibility yet. Not when I started, no. Nowadays, yes. But when I, when I was into hacking, it was mostly uh, solo or one or two friends that were in my trusted circle, never groups like today. Okay. What do you read to be updated? I'm uh, constantly on the internet. I I read uh, like Dark Reading as a as a website. Millworm. Uh, you mean on security issues or on what issues? Uh, no, no. What for uh, be upgraded, uh, updated to the security? Uh, security. Like I I keep all up to date with all the exploits, all the new uh, tools that are released. Um, I go to a lot of the conferences. Any website speak at the conferences? You all the time you sit. I use Google a lot. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's like it's my homepage. Okay. What do you think about Colombia? Colombia, I love the country. Yeah, and yes. the women. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. I met my girlfriend here. Uh, I mean, like three years ago. Three years ago? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, it is really, I'm so glad that you gave me that five minutes. Uh, I want to say, I want that you gave a say to Kevin Dragonheart. Dragon Jar. It's uh, great to talk to everybody. I wish everybody the best of luck and. Uh, I'll see you on the internet. Señores, esto fue la entrevista con Kevin Mitnick. Cinco minutos fue suficiente. Muchas gracias a él. Que nos vemos en otra oportunidad. Bye.